Introducing the Inspire ICT range, the only system designed specifically for primary children right through to adult education. Uh, today we're going to look at the Inspire range of ICT furniture, uh, which is uh, manufactured in the UK by Metallifor. So we thought we'd have a look and see uh, how easy or difficult it is to assemble. So here we've got, uh, this is how it arrives, uh, these are the packaged up items. So let's take a look. Right, let's start unpacking. Okay, we've opened up the framework uh, for the table. Those are over here. Let's have a look at the table, table tops. Right, these then are the tops. Uh, what we have here are two tables. There's a starter table or a single table and then an add-on table. Um, so rather than have uh, two separate tables, each with its own legs, we've got one pair of legs that's uh, shared between the two tables. Now these tops um, are manufactured from 25 millimeter MDF. So they're thick and they're heavy. Um, so that makes them quite, uh, quite resilient. Um, you also see on the underside they're counterbalanced with a, a veneer. Uh, and that's a really positive thing. Um, it stops the, the table top warping over time. Right, let's just have a look now at the frames themselves. Now the way, these are the two supporting structures that go underneath uh, the tables. We've got a bag of bolts. Now we've got the legs. These are the legs for either end of the table span. And this is the shared uh, pair of legs that goes in between. I'll just set those to one side for the moment. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is assemble the frames. Uh, so let's just make a little bit of space so that we can put the frames together. Take the, some of these bolts, get those ready. And let's have a look. So here's, this is one of the frames. And Basically, these are all pre-drilled um, to allow them to be fixed, uh, to, to allow the framework to be fixed uh, to the top. So the first thing we need to do is to put an end leg onto here. Take a couple of bolts. I can see immediately that I've got this upside down because the holes don't line up. So turn that over. Right, with the first uh, leg in place, we now need to put in the, uh, the shared leg, uh, which has got female threads on either side so that we can join the two uh, support frames together. So first of all, I'll just loosely um, put these bolts in to position. There's one in, and there's the second. I'll just do those up so they're finger tight. Just tighten those up with the Allen key. That's the shared leg uh, now in, in position. Um, so the next part is to add well, we can do one of two things, either the end leg or the other cross span. In fact, what we'll do is we'll add the other cross span.
This is one of those jobs that might be easier with a second person, because I'm thinking also, looking at it, it's going to be quite difficult. If I try and bolt this on here, like that, that's going to put a lot of strain. This is quite a heavy piece of uh, kit. Uh, that's going to put a lot of strain on these bolts. So what I'm going to do, thinking about it as I go along, is I'm actually going to put the leg in position and use the rest of the table frame to support. And I'll just put those two in place. Just finger tight for now. Now I can move that along and the whole thing is supported. So now all I need to do is put the rest of the bolts in, tighten those up, and then that's the whole frame complete. So what I'll do now is put the rest of these bolts in position. Well, that's the frame assembly complete for our, our little double unit. Of course, you can add extras. You can go as far as you want. Also, we do a double depth uh, uh, desk as well. Um, you'll see the details on the website. Uh, the whole thing's made of steel. Uh, it's all mild steel painted with a Duraform speckle grey paint, which is particularly uh, robust. So the final thing we need to do is to add the worktops, which are on the floor at the moment. Um, now, all the tops are pre-drilled underneath, so it's just a case of getting them correctly in position so that the pre-drilled holes line up with the holes here on the top. So let's put a top on and So there's the top roughly in position. Just put the second one on. So those are roughly those are roughly positioned now. The thing to do now is get underneath, make sure the holes line up, and then we'll put the screws in. And then the job's complete.